Hi, welcome to uh, APR Motorsport. Uh, today, I, I guess we got some requests from some of the Facebook fans to show you what we eat and, and uh, how we uh, stay fit on the weekends. Um, and this is our catering area. Uh, we've got basically a full crew of people that keep the uh, team fed and uh, keep everybody happy. We've got our lunch menu here. Today we're having gyros and falafel. It's one of my favorites. We've got our special APR tuned coolers. Water, juice, Gatorade, energy drink, soda. What are the challenges for uh, cooking for this many people? Uh, probably the biggest thing is uh, getting enough food in to feed everybody. And then you always, uh, we also have uh, special dietary needs. We have some lactose intolerant, we have some vegetarians. So we try and cater to everybody's needs. Do We've got no running water, but we've got little pumps. We've got two stoves that we cook on. We've got a gigantic water. We've got gyros and falafel for lunch today. We try and change it up race to race, although taco bar is definitely the uh, favorite. And then night before the race, we usually will do some sort of a pasta dish, make sure all the drivers get enough carbs for the next day. And we usually don't do breakfast, although we've got an early race tomorrow morning, so we got a big old breakfast casserole coming out. That's our only refrigeration right there is that giant a lot of the teams grill a lot, but we uh, neither one of us have very good grill skills, <laughs> so <laughs> we do more uh, we do more cooking. We typically do a big giant run before we get here, stock up on the heavy stuff, and then we do a fresh run when we get here. Local supermarkets and whatnot try to stock up because we don't have a lot of refrigeration space and freezer space, so we make do. Takes a lot of uh, thought. We've got one of our cars is in here, so we've got to wait till the car gets pulled out till we can set up everything in here. So it works out. It's a good use of the space that we've got. A couple cars up top and spares. We got um, radiators, core supports, and then all the catering goes forward. And then a car, moped, tables, and coolers. Well, you know the food is so good here at Magnus Racing that everybody comes by from all the other teams to eat with. Uh, with us right here, look at this, Lee Keen's even over here from the Mazda Group. I want to first introduce you to Lori Bedell, she's awesome. She actually does logistics for uh, Magnus Racing and she does a heck of a job for catering. She takes care of my nutrition, which is so important here it, it, you know, when we race Porsches here at Grand Am. So I could, I'd like to walk you through a little bit of, of, of the kitchen here. You know, if we kind of pan over here, we have, we have our stoves, we have our heaters, and in our prep area, we have our coolers right here and coolers over there. I want to show you, we have the best coffee on the planet right here. And Lori makes a, makes a mean cup of coffee. We have espresso, and that's why a lot of the teams come. We're going to wander over here. This is John Potter and Lee Keen's plate right there. And this is awesome. I have our broccoli and my cauliflower. We have our chicken here, and it's, and it's free range chicken. Um, perfect, perfect healthy chicken for us. We're going to wander over. We have our greens, our salads, coleslaw, and then our fruits and, and, and some more vegetables over here. As you can tell, it's super clean. It's super easy to access. The crew loves it. Um, we're, I mean, each week it gets better and better. Crew eats really healthy as well as the drivers. The crew on a six-hour race has to go through and be well nutritioned, well hydrated. So we always keep good water. We always keep good food around all day long because you never want the blood sugar to drop because then concentration and then and then obviously you know the focus concentration clarity balance and that goes away instantly so I always make sure that the guys are eating they're hydrated well and uh, you know performance drink is another thing that I use hammer nutritioner is another thing that I use uh, for in terms of supplements um, natural wellness uh, for supplements in terms of multivitamins and and uh, flora and digestive enzymes Lori's asking me always, you know, well, what are we going to have and how do I cook this? And she's really going out there and doing a good job in terms of resourcing herself. So I don't have to really say too much because she comes up with some great meals and great healthy meals. And it's always getting healthier and healthier as we go. I run them by Craig before I make them. I say, Craig, what do you think of this for today? Have any ideas? I like to do a variety of things for the boys. I don't want to do the same staples every day because then it gets boring for them. Yeah, you know, we had... Uh, eggs, yeah. uh, fajitas this morning, yeah, so awesome. with peppers and onions, just to mix it up and try to stay totally healthy. And we always have broccoli on hand for Craig. Always, so always. always. She's, <laughs> she's really good. I, I eat perfect at home, and I eat perfect here. And so I have no problem with, with 
giving my best performance, my A++ game to Magnus Racing at all times. And a huge part of it is, is nutrition. Instead of a big thing of chips out, now I've got more fruit out there. Laura, you got any berries? Uh, how about some more bananas? Yep. You know, they're, <laughs> they're following Craig's wonderful example. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm grateful for Lori. No.